everyone welcome back to the channel it's Sawyer here aka fiery ginger um, so I haven't posted in a couple weeks I uh, have been on vacation and then after I got back from vacation was like I had work and like immediately coming back from a vacation going to work I was like I don't really want to film anything cuz tired and so here I am back at it um, you know the drill Today we're going to be having a LaCroix. This is beach plum flavored. It's really good. I'm hooked on it. It's really good. So let's get our ASMR ready. Oh, that's a ter terrible tongue pop. Here we go. Mm, so satisfying. So, so satisfying. Just going to pour it until I can see bubbles. Oh, they're gonna take the whole thing? Oh, oh, it's gonna take the whole thing. Oh, no, it's not. Dang. Okay. Oh, it would have totally fit the whole thing in here. Mm. Triggers. Alrighty, and, you know. Gotta take that anxiety medication. Um. But yeah, so we're just going to be chit-chatting, catching up a little bit. How's y'all's two weeks been without seeing little old me? Um, I'm currently wearing a, a shirt I'm obsessed with. It's Care Bears, and I love Care Bears. So here it is. Like, Oh, it's so cute. So cute. But yes, I love Care Bears. I think that's going to be one of my next tattoos, actually. Because I'm obsessed with the Care Bears. Um... But yeah, so while I was on vacation, um, me and Till built some bookshelves. I'm excited for y'all to see them because they're going to look amazing. Like, the last time I saw them, like, Till's just adding the finishing touches to them. The next video, you will see them up, and they'll be, one of them will probably be here in this area. The other one I'll have to show you because it's going to be off camera in a different corner. Because I was going to put them both on this back wall right here so I could display all my books in the back of my videos as well. But I don't think they're both going to fit there because they're kind of wide. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for y'all to see them. I don't think I mentioned what they were, they were, but some people already know. Um, but I'm excited for that. Um, what are y'all obsessing over lately? Like, what sh what's been y'all's weekly obsession? So, for me and my husband, it has been Lucifer. We have been binge-watching Lucifer, like... Lord, whenever I tell you, I think we watched like five episodes last night and it still wasn't the end of season two and I was stressed. I was like, y'all better help me. Um, <clears throat> I've never seen it before, but I've always wanted to watch it. And I was just like, finally, it's going to happen. I'm going to do it. And so we started watching it and I'm obsessed. Tom Ellis, Shep's Kiss. Um, even though I actually think the therapist in it is my favorite character or Maze. Maze is a great character. Um, but yeah, so those are like, that's, I'm obsessing over that. I'm also obsessing with Bo Burnham's new song, The All Eyes On Me. Like, for some reason, I don't know. I think I saw it on TikTok and like TikTok made me just like blow it up. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, I'm obsessed. Um, so I've signed up for like a, a book of the month subscription box too as well. So I'm like, I was like, you know, let's make, let me just randomly get a book here. It's not random. You pick from five, but you know, I'm excited because the first book I got was called Razor Blade Tears, and it's about these this husband and husband who gets brutally murdered, and the cops basically put the case like immediately inactive, and so like the dads try to go undercover and everything, figuring it out. They don't really go undercover. They do a terrible job at hiding who they are, but so far. Whenever I tell you this book is popping off, like, I'm only, like, a hundred and something pages in, which I'm, like, halfway through it, and whenever I tell you this is crazy, like, it's, like, I mean, I think I know who the killer is, because I don't think they don't make it blatantly obvious who it is, but, like, it is wild, wild, like, lord, stress, angsty, like, it has got me, like, going crazy also if my hair looks wet it's because we brought in groceries and it was pouring the rain um but yeah 
So I'm reading that. I'm also reading a book by Elliot Schre Schreifer. Schreifer. It's The Darkness Outside of Us. It's about two boys in space so far is all I know. Like I could read you the synopsis, but I'm not gonna go through the trouble that when you can look it up. Um, but I just think I'm like 45 pages in with it and I got my book of the month book in. I started reading that one because I was like, oh, this one might be a little more interesting. And I think I need a little more like gore because I finished, I just finished Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. Um, it was super cute, super cute. Um, the ending was the only thing that was a little perturbing to me and it was just because I feel like she wrapped it up in like three or four sentences and I was like, what is this? Why is she doing this? I'm like, it ends cute though. It ends cute. It ends, it ends good. Um, but yeah, I also read Song of Achilles. Whenever I tell y'all, I have never been more disappointed in book talk and booktube with that book. Lord, let me tell you, I was like, if you read that book and you absolutely loved it, tell me why you loved it. Because I get it, it's a retelling of the Iliad, I'm pretty sure. Like, I already knew how it ended. Like, I knew how, like, Achilles died and all that good jazz. Like, I knew who killed him and the original story, all this. But I literally feel like in the end of the book, she built this entire world. Don't get me wrong. I love Madeline Miller. Like, Cersei was primo. But whenever I tell you she wrapped up the whole book after everybody was killed and dead and all that and literally, like, a chapter, I was like, girl what are you doing? I was like, you built this entire world and now you're ending it in like less than 20 pages. I'm like, not okay. Um, what else did I finish reading? Did I finish reading something else? I don't know. I don't know. I'm reading, I'm reading two books at one time. I'm also like reading a book through my phone. I'm trying to talk my husband into getting me a Kindle. Like I know that is blasphemous words for me to say because I love hard books. Like I just love, love a good book. But like there's some books I could get from Kindle Unlimited that are full free, free 99. And that's persuasive. persuasive. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to buy a Kindle. If you have a Kindle and you love it, let me know in the comments below what kind of Kindle you have because I'm looking at like the Kindle Oasis maybe or the Kindle like Paper Light or Paper Weight, something along those lines. I'm not for sure what it's called, but those are the two that I'm looking into. Like something that's got like a black and gray screen. I don't need color. Um, <clears throat> but those that's what I'm looking into right now because there's a few books on there. Like I know, um, again, I'm kind of being like on the trend with it and I'm like, booktube and book talk like i really want to read the dark fey series i really really want to read the zodiac academy series and there was something else that i put on my list to like to read um but yeah i, I want to read those and i can get them for free on kindle unlimited so i'm thinking about getting a kindle what do y'all think tell me what you think um what's your favorite way to read books do you like to read them through your phone do you prefer a hard copy? Do you prefer an audiobooks? Like, um, Rob really likes audiobooks. He just bought one today that I think is a murder mystery. I'm not for sure. I don't even remember what it was called. Uh, we share the same Audible account. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's just what I'm reading now. Um, uh, update on the shrimps. So Celine, she's a killer, y'all. She's a killer. Um, she ate both of the shrimps. Where is that? Oh, she ate both of the scrimps. They dead and gone. Xena, Nebula, the curtains. Um, it was a sad day. I've bought a lot of books though recently. Um, I bought Kira Cast the Siren because I'm pretty sure it's a standalone book. I'm hoping it's a standalone book. I bought it in the hopes that it was a standalone book. Um, but besides the darkness outside of us, I also bought. Jay's Gay Agenda, um, ooh, a TJ Klune book, The Extraordinaries. I think I've already mentioned this maybe in a video, but I bought those because I was super excited about reading those. Um, <clears throat> oh, and I bought Victoria Aveyard's Groundbreaker. It was a signed copy from Walmart for $12. I was like, that's a steal, gotta get it. Uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of work that I'm also thinking about buying. 
Um, but yeah, so like, what what have y'all been up to? What have you been up to? Um, we had a party, a themed party. I'll insert a picture. Uh, it was like a little game night that me and some of the besties had. Um, we decided that we were gonna like do a Shrek themed party. Um, yours truly was Fairy Godmother. Um, Rob was Puss in Boots, but I'll insert a photo. Um, whenever, yeah. What else has been going on recently? Um, we had to harvest all of our vegetables because I just don't think they were getting enough sunlight to do anything. Like, it was kind of sad. I was a little upset that they had to go. Um, but yeah, we, the purple bell peppers were really good. I don't know if we got pictures of them or not, but they were good. I don't usually like bell peppers, but I feel like they weren't crazy bell pepper-y tasty either. Um, so they weren't bad. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, I guess I'm back to work after my vacation. I probably won't take more vacation time until, uh, like October around our anniversary, like around Halloween and probably won't take any more vacation time until then. Um, <clears throat> but other than that though, like I just wanted to just pop back on and chit chat really. Um, I'm trying to do better about not eating dairy. I really have to not like eat it so much. Like I uh, have alpha-gal syndrome, which is caused by the tick bite that you get. Um, and mine has, like, progressed to the point where I'm, like, also, like, allergic to dairy. And so, like, I eat it sometimes anyways, and it just guts me. Like, it is... It's bad. Like, I really shouldn't. But today... I was like, it's Sunday, treat yourself, it's raining, it's crappy weather, like, my head was hurting from the weather, and I was just like, I just want Mexican food, and I was like, I'm dying for chicken, cheese, and rice, like, I gotta have it, I gotta have it, and I'll start better tomorrow, like, I told myself too, no more Cokes, like, I have literally, like, I quit being vegan, and after I stopped being vegan, like, my whole, like, dietary regime went to the birds, like, it went to hell in a handbasket like I feel like I gained like 15 pounds like that um and I had lost 25 pounds from being vegan so I'm like you know I'm like I may go back a little bit like I may I may get back to that a little bit like because we got HelloFresh we signed up for HelloFresh <laughs> and no this video unfortunately is not sponsored by HelloFresh um but HelloFresh if you ever hear this you know sponsor me I already got your boxes girl um just give me that discount code um <clears throat> but yeah like we get our hello fresh meals and they're supposed to be like healthy like quick fix meals and so far we've gotten some really really good ones we ate a uh it was like a plum roasted chicken breast on quinoa with roasted carrots and bell peppers and it was really good like i hate bell peppers usually and this was not bad so i was pleasantly surprised with that so yeah but <clears throat> hello fresh if you ever want to sponsor me um but yeah so we've been doing that um i've just been reading a lot i've read a bunch um it's pretty much what i do in my downtime is i just read um so if, if you got any good books to recommend that are in like the ya fantasy like kind of regular fantasy-esque like horror I really, really want to know how, like, Darcy Coates is or Grady Hendrix. Like, they have some books that's come out recently that I'm like, ooh, that sounds good. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. I read a lot of anything. I just don't like Western. I don't typically like nonfiction a lot. Like, nonfiction just kind of bores me. If it's historical fiction and I can kind of get into it that way, that's fine. Like, I love The Tattooist of Auschwitz. That was really good. Um... But yeah, I'll read anything. So drop me some more suggestions in the comments of what y'all what y'all reading that's good. Um, but other than that, though, you know, it's just a rainy, dreary day today. Well, pff, last few days, the power went out at work, and whenever I tell you, like, it was getting toasty in there because the air conditioner was like. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm going to be sweaty. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, so I've just, those are just some of my weekly obsessions that I've been going over. Um, 
that's about it though. What you, like I said, what y'all guys been up to? Well, shit, guys, as Leslie Jordan would say, what y'all doing? Um, I, I just had a brain fart. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pop off here. I'm gonna eat me some Triscuits with my dairy-free cheese that I just bought. I don't know what it is. It's like a garlic French spread from some brand in the Kroger. Um, and like I said, I can't wait for y'all to see my bookcases that are going to be over here. And other than that, though, I uh, hope you guys have a good afternoon and that you're doing well. And I'm not for sure whenever this video will go up either. I don't know if I'll wait until next Thursday to do it. I may post this one maybe after I'm done editing it and just like post it up whenever because I'm going to maybe try to start posting depending on like what kind of like content I can think about doing. I may try to start doing something like maybe twice a week maybe or like once on the weekend or something like that. I don't know yet. We're just going to see. We're just going to we're going to vibe for it right now and we'll see what we're going to do. Um, but other than that though, I might post some pictures of and some video of like whenever I was working on the bookcases on like on my vacation but we'll see what I have like I think I just recorded bits and pieces of here and there like I wish I would have done a little bit better with it but you know I was trying to help as much as possible and I'm really gonna be in a super fast or but um you know I'll just put some pictures in of like crap that I've been doing watching stuff like that and I will see you in my next video bye guys